One of the most incredible events for you to go out to see in amateur astronomy is about to happen. And today we're gonna to take a look at everything you need to know to have the best experience possible with the partial and total solar eclipse that millions of people are gonna be seeing in North America in just a few short hours. I'm Michael Martin and welcome to Late Night Astronomy, your guide to the best objects, events, and equipment to help you explore the heavens above. The most important thing to begin with for a solar eclipse is how to safely view it. During a total solar eclipse, the moon moves slowly between the Earth and the Sun, creating a partial eclipse for many and a zone of totality for some where the moon completely blocks the Sun for a few minutes along a specific path. Never look at the Sun without a pair of certified solar glasses bought from a reputable source. Even if where you live is a partial solar eclipse with 99% of the moon covering the sun, you still have to wear solar glasses during the entire event. The only time you can take them off is right after totality hits, when 100% of the sun is covered by the moon for just a few short minutes if you find yourself under that incredible path. The path of totality for this solar eclipse will travel across parts of Mexico, the United States, and Canada on April 8th. Most people in North America not in the path of totality will still be able to experience an impressive partial solar eclipse as well that day. The ultimate experience, however, is getting to see the moon completely cover the sun for a few minutes, and it's best to try to get as close to the center of that zone as you possibly can. Being near the center of the zone of totality can add anywhere from a few seconds to possibly even a minute to your experience. If you're making a drive to the zone of totality like I am, see if you can find a public library or a park that's hosting a solar eclipse party that day. I'll include some links in the description below to help you figure out where the nearest point of totality will be to you. And also, consider using apps like Sky Safari to know the exact second when totality will hit if you find yourself in the path of this incredible event. The next total solar eclipse won't cut through the United States until 2044 and 2045. So be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel to get updates on that as we approach it. This type of event is truly one of the most unique things that you can experience in this hobby. And please be sure to share your experience with all of us in the comments section below. Thank you all so much for your continued support and clear skies from late night astronomy.